Hello uh, friends, good, good morning, good afternoon and good evening, whatever case it may be. I hope you are fine. Yes, I'm Tumine Joy. I'm here for the English lesson, lesson 18. Uh, last time, I left you with work. Remember we are on past tense, do you remember that? Yesterday tense, eh? Yes, yesterday tense, which is past tense. Okay. Now, I left you with work. Some few numbers, which we are very simple, on what we learned last time in the previous lesson. Let's look at it. Did you do it? Okay, let's look at it. It was fill in, fill in the correct form of the verb in the brackets. The correct form of the verb in the brackets. Okay? Number one. Be attentive because I'm not going to give you the answers. I'm just going to say them. So check your work. Number one, the cleaner dash our class yesterday. The word is mop. Remember, the verbs we learned last time were double, doubling the last letter. Do you remember that? This is the work you were supposed to do. Now, what do we do to this? We double this P and we add ED. And what is the word? The verb is mopped. So we say, the cleaner mopped our class yesterday. Can we spell the word mopped? Let's spell together. Mopped. M-O-P-P-E-D. That is the word mopped. Number two, our teacher dash the chalkboard in the morning. Our teacher dash the chalkboard in the morning. Which word is in brackets? Rub. What do we do? We double B and we add ED. And the word becomes rubbed. Now let's fill it here and see. Our teacher rubbed the chalkboard in the morning. Let's spell the word rubbed. Together? Yes. R U B B E D. That is the word rubbed. We have doubled this last letter. Okay, number three. Sarah dash the thief last night. Sarah dash the thief last night. The word in bracket is slap. What do we do? We can, do you remember? We double this letter, the last one, which is P, and the word, and we add ED, the word becomes slapped. And when we spell the word, it is S-L-A-P-P-E-D. Let's fill it in the, in, the, in, the, in the blank space. Sarah, Sarah slapped the thief last night. Number four. John dash rice to posho. <coughs> John dash rice to posho. The word in bracket is prefer. Prefer. We double this R, we add ED, and the word becomes preferred. Let's see. John preferred rice to posho. <clears throat> okay? All right. Those were the few numbers that I gave you. Only four. I hope you did them. Did you pass all of them? Did you fail one? Failed all of them? If you failed, then be attentive now. Now, today, we are going to look at another, another thing, but still in past tense. Are we together? Let's, I hope so. Now, by the end of this lesson, I expect you to change the irregular verbs. We are going to look at the verbs which change in different ways. Not like the other one which we say, we double, here we remove, here we do, we do this. Now these ones <coughs> are called irregular verbs. They change in different ways. So I expect you to change those verbs to past tense or to yesterday tense. Then I expect you to read the verbs correctly. Okay? And I expect you to do the exercise that I will give you. Are we together? Okay, let's go to the lesson now. The lesson 18 of English. This is what we, where we are. As I said, these are called irregular verbs. Why are they called irregular? They change in different ways. Let's see. 
Uh, we say that such verbs have their spellings change completely. The spellings change. Those are the irregular verbs. Uh, some verbs change to the past by dropping their vowels. They are verbs that have vowels and they are dropped. Or consonants and end in a T. Okay? Let's look at them. Okay. These are the examples. As I said, they change. Uh, the ones we are looking at now, at this moment, they end in T. Look at them. All of them end in T. Yes? All right. Uh -huh. Let's look at the examples. Let's read together. Sweep. How does it change? It changes to swept. It has dropped one E and ended with T. Swept. Sleep. Slept. It has changed in the same way. Keep, kept. Whip, wept. Kneel, knelt. Feel, felt. Meet, met. Shoot, shot. Have you seen this? They are dropping one vowel. Yes? Uh huh. Let's see. Build, built. Spend, spent. Send, sent. Bend, bent. Lend, lent. Burn, burnt. Smell, smelt. Learn, learnt. Spell, spelt. Lose, lost. You see? They are all they all end in T every everywhere. They end in T as I told you. Okay? Okay. Let's read them together again. Because these ones are not if you are not paying attention properly, you will not get them. Just look at them and we read very fast. Okay? Are we together? We start. Yes. Ah, sweep, swept, sleep, slept. Keep, kept, whip, wept, kneel, knelt, feel, felt, meet, met, shot, shoot, shot. I, I, I know some of you say, uh, uh, sweep, swept. It is not swept, it is swept. Okay, do you see that? Swept, swept. Okay, mm -hmm. we are still reading. Build, built. Spend, spent. Send, sent. Bend, bent. Lend, lent. Burn, burnt. Smell, smelt. Learn, learnt. Spell, spelt. Lose, lost. Learn these spellings. I know they may not be very easy, but try to learn them, okay? Okay. Now, after looking at that, I have an exercise for you, a simple activity. This activity is about what we have seen, okay? What does it say? It says, complete the sentence with the correct past tense form of the verb in the brackets. Remember, these ones, they they, they change in a different way, as I, I showed you, okay? This exercise is very simple. Just look at the words we, ha we have learned, read the spelling, spell them, and make sure you complete the exercise correctly. There are only seven, num eight numbers, only eight numbers. They are very few. So I know good children know what feeling, and when I come back, we shall look at this exercise from number one up to number eight. Thank you very much. We meet next time.